Do you use your Notes app on your Mac to keep sensitive information? Do you ever have that nagging worry of what if someone saw this note or what if I forgot the password to this note? If you said yes to any of these questions and more, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Chris with Simple Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to keep your notes safe from prying eyes. We'll explore how easy it is to set it up and the benefits of each option. In addition, we'll take a little deep dive into how to use locked notes on your Mac. So if you're ready to go, let's get started. All right, so once you have your notes open, the easiest way to lock a note is simply to come over to it and right click on it. If you don't have a right click set up, um, you will have to come over to the little lock that you see up by the search bar in the top right hand corner of the notes window. But if you have it set up, you're simply just going to click on lock note. When you click on lock note, the first time that you do it, you're going to get a window that pops up that asks you if you want to use your login password or if you want to use your um, or if you want to create a password. Now, there are a few pros and cons of using each. And so we're going to kind of go over that really quick. So when you lock your notes with the login password, it's simple because you remember that password, you use it to log into your computer every day. Um, it also gives you the benefit of actually enabling Touch ID to unlock um, the notes as well. Now, if you are, um, one of the cons with that, of course, is that like my kids know the password to my computer. So if they were to get into it, kind of defeats the purpose. Or maybe you work in a business where everybody has the same password and you just really don't want prying eyes to be in there looking at your notes, right? But if you use the same password on every computer, then chances are those people can get in there. So you definitely want to think about what kind of password situation you want to use. The other option is to create a unique password for your notes. So that is something different than your login password. And in doing so, it locks the notes with that unique password and, you know, it's not the same as your login. So it's a lot harder to get into. So definitely a benefit there if you're worried about prying eyes getting into those notes. Um, some cons though is what if you forget it what are you going to do then those notes are gone that's happened to me before and there was really nothing i could do um, there's no way to break through and to and to get that so just kind of remember that whichever way you choose to go there are pros and cons of each if you're not 100 percent sure i just definitely recommend that you start with locking your notes with your login password and enabling touch id uh, if you need them to be more secure, then take that next step of creating a unique password for each. Okay, so now that we have a locked note, right, we can lock other notes simply by right clicking on them or come up again to this lock. And in this case, I'm, I'm on a locked note, so you can see I could actually remove that lock if I chose to do so. Now, let's say you can see here I got Chris Christmas, Kids Christmas List going and my kids are about to walk in the door. I can easily click here and do close all locked notes. And now all my notes have all of a sudden been locked. So the two that I locked, the company financial and the kids Christmas list are now locked and they do require touch ID or the, the uh, login for the computer to get into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingerprint and there it is. Now we're unlocked again. Now. There are some notes that you cannot lock. Um, you cannot lock a quick note. Uh, so in some cases, a quick note on some Macs, if you haven't changed it yet, if you move your mouse to the bottom right hand corner, it allows you to create a quick note. Um, you cannot lock a note you've shared with other people. You cannot um, lock a note that has a video, an audio file, uh, a PDF or a document attached. It will let you lock notes though that have tables or images in them or drawings or even scan documents. Um, it won't let you lock a note that has tags. So let's say you've created these notes and now you're like, I need to remove these locks. It's a little cumbersome. I don't need them locked anymore. Christmas is past, whatever it may be, right? So you already saw earlier when we came in here, you can click here, you could do remove lock or just like you locked it in the first time, you can right click on the note and choose remove lock. There we are. We can remove that one 
equally two. Now, let's say in this particular sense, we initially chose to use our login password and touch ID to unlock this note. Now, maybe we've decided that, hey, that's probably not the right solution for us. We need to create a strong password for these notes. Well, there's an easy way to change this on all of your notes in one fail swoop. So what we need to do is we need to go to the note settings. So go ahead and click on notes in the top left hand corner and go into settings and you're going to get this window here. Now down at the bottom is where you see lock notes, use touch ID, so on. I'm going to change that to use a custom password. And now what you need to do here is it needs to verify you. I'm going to go ahead and use my touch ID. And now it's going to ask you to put in a password. Right? So we put in the password and then you can see important. If you forget this password, you won't be able to view your locked notes. So again, one of the cons of a unique password. And then once I do set password, updated the custom password, use the password you created to manage your locked notes. So now your locked notes will no longer be, <clears throat> um, pardon me, will no longer be managed with your login password. So I'm going to go ahead and close the note here. But one of the beauties is I can still use Touch ID on this note to view it. So I can use that Touch ID. Don't forget your note's password. Forgetting your note's password could cause you to lose access, even if Touch ID is enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And we'll go from there. So you can see if you ever run into a problem with your Touch ID, that potentially could cause you to lose a note if you think Touch ID will always get you in. So again, always remember that password if you create a unique password. And that's it, folks. I hope you really got a lot out of this and how easy it is just to create a lock on a note to remove the lock, what choices you have for password protecting your lock, or your lock, your notes. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll have more of these videos coming out that are just quick, helpful tutorials so you can just get more out of your Mac. Everybody have a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.